until next time. Until next time, Eivor! Do you want to die, thief? I'll see you later. She's an excellent shield, Sweva. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkethorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The oaths are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. Head on to the cavern, Eivor. East beyond awaits me elsewhere. I need your eyes, my friend.
the exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. You're a difficult man to find. Uh. Heming Oyal is dead. Mm. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Oyal. The stones. Heming Oyal possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. In life it did not, but in death it lies as still as a stone. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah, Gunknir then. Odin's faultless spear, a symbol of power. Is this your choice? I still need to consider. Hmm. By his determination to keep his clan safe and his people celebrated. The mark of vague Visir. Sights never lost. <laughs> Is this your decision? I still need to consider. Mm. By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Wirth, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes. I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminga would be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found a spear.
This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Hemming come with much grief. Still make your hoax! Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trickvy. I'll do what I can to calm things. Insult our culture. He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. What do you see? They are going to kill him. I told him not to do it. Now he's locked up in that house with no way out. Come out, you dung eating rat. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. God! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please. There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. You've got the key! Use it! You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God! So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course! I anointed him in the name of the Lord! Heminger was never one to weep over a bit of rain. Neither should you. He insulted our noble dead. Heminger would laugh at the very idea. What is this Voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. This is your Voda. I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the Rus of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly never hurts. 
Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you quick. Let's see you, old friend. You mighty Thor, you've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Now to treat me. I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heming, I would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. Idiot! <laughs> 
much longer. <laughs> Get round the side.
pathetic!